You're watching UNICEF Television. In the past two months, Benin has experienced one of the worst floods of its history. Even in the southern district of Benin, where floods are reported almost every year, the inhabitants were caught off guards and had to flee their devastated homes. Today, as the water is eventually receding, the long-term consequences of the crisis are starting to emerge. In many rural villages, most of the crops have been ruined by the flowing waters. The floods have been incredibly high. My fish holes have been emptied. Usually, we would already have set the fields and planted for the next season. We'd already harvested hot peppers and tomatoes. Instead, we've just started to plant. We will get late in the crops and the village starts to feel hungry. The dry season should begin within a few weeks, and the villagers are worried. They dread facing a food scarcity. To prevent an increase of malnutrition cases, UNICEF is reinforcing the training of health agents throughout the country. In the coming months, we'll have to be very careful and vigilant, as we fear the crops will be late and the consequences might be dreadful. We especially focus on children under five, as well as pregnant and breastfeeding women. In the hardest hit villages, like in Poto, the UNHCR built a camp to shelter the people in urgent need. UNICEF provided latrines and showers in those camps. As most people are now safe from flowing waters, the United Nations system is planning a long-term response to the crisis. Most of the displaced people don't want to go back to their villages where it's not safe to live anymore. Our recovery strategy must take that into consideration. We must help these people, but we can't help them rebuild the villages in floodable zones. To avoid water-related diseases and a major outbreak of epidemics during this post-crisis period, UNICEF supports an information campaign on water treatments, hand washing with soap, breastfeeding, hygiene and sanitation. The campaign targets grassroots communities in the most remote villages and involves 24 local radios and 1,000 public criers. UNICEF also enhances awareness raising in schools by promoting basic gestures such as hand washing with soap. If we want the UN's actions in the field to be successful in the long term, we must keep people in good health. With climate change and the successive crisis in Benin, the United Nations system is committed to help populations to recover from recurrent floods. UNICEF considers the recovery as an opportunity to build schools in more durable settings, thus giving all children a chance to be educated. This will contribute in building a brighter future for the most vulnerable children of Benin. This is Edward Bally, reporting for UNICEF Television. For more information, go to unicef.org. Unite for children.